The 1960s saw the end of practically all steam operations on the Tasmanian railway system. The 1980s saw it come back, not as part of the normal railway service, but as a tourist attraction. One of the most remarkable steam restoration projects in Tasmania was initiated by two men, Tony Cohen and Dr David Fletcher, both from Hobart. In 1979, they acquired by public tender Locomotive H2 from Australian National Railways. This film was taken eight years later, after a massive restoration project. The occasion was a tourist run from Hobart up the picturesque Derwent River Valley to Mount Field National Park. The Tasmanian Locomotive Company was formed by Tony Cohen and David Fletcher and a handful of friends. Originally, they expected to do no more than simply save the loco from the scrapyard. As it turned out, they ended up with a mainline train. The loco is one of eight H-class engines imported from the Vulcan foundry in Lancashire in 1951. H2 has a 482 wheel configuration known as the mountain type. After nine years of service, mainly in northern Tasmania, it was put into storage in 1960. Eight years later it was serviced, the last overhaul of a steam loco by Tasmanian Railways. It continued in service until 1975, when a serious crack in the inner firebox condemned the boiler. When private restoration began, H2 was kept in the Hobart Roundhouse. Demolition of the Roundhouse forced H2 out of town to the branch line at Cadbury's Chocolate Factory. The first steaming of the loco took place on November 24, 1986, ten years after the loco had been condemned. Repairs included replating of the inner firebox and refitting and cladding the refurbished boiler. With three carriages from the old Tasman Limited and two from the Emu Bay Railway, 
The loco can take up to 324 passengers on its trips. The purple colour scheme was adopted as a way of saying thanks to Cadbury's. Sponsorship was eventually taken over by Cascade Brewery and the livery was changed to Brewery Blue. The red line on the tender is taken from the Tasmanian coat of arms. Because of the danger of bushfires, the loco is not allowed to run during the summer months. However, bad weather has never deterred the ardent steam fan, and young and old turned out for the trip up the valley, past the hop fields, oast houses and villages, to Mountfield National Park. There's a stopover of two hours at the National Park. Time to take in the beauty of the cold climate rainforest and to enjoy a barbecue. The Tasmanian Locomotive Company keeps steaming because of the enthusiasm of its shareholders. 
They come from many walks of life. Motor mechanic, boiler maker, publican, printer, engineer, spray painter, public servant, teacher, housewife, all share a love of steam. It's a special run because many regard it as one of the most beautiful sections of railway line in Australia. It doesn't have to be perfect weather for a perfect day. The Derwent Valley and the Old Loco combine to make it one of the great little train journeys Australia has to offer. 